the per attempt final is next. It's a grade three handicap. Over three miles, you have to qualify to get into this. Cab on target, top weight for John Morgan, Casa Grande, Smiles of Vinnie Gerard, Barley Notes, James Shea, Cottage Wine, Craig Beckwith, Rapunzel, Martin Eagle, Agnetta's Eagle, or Graham Clitterbuck, Hot Springs Unknown, Vinnie Gerard, Labrata, Darren Thompson, Demiris Giza, or Graham Clitterbuck, Bookshot, Daniel French, Olive Oil, Matt Cooper, Glamist, Alex Cherry, and Orange Cassidy, Matt Cooper. So a field of 13. A decent sized field for this. You don't normally get that big a field for this because you've got to qualify. There's only about four or five qualifiers. But they're away and racing. I've got a feeling that we extended the qualifier to down to six this year. Which has got us a decent sized field. And it's Glamist who's going to lead into the first of the 12. It should be on the different hurdles track today as well now. Which means there'll be a longer running than there was yesterday. But it's Glamist who's got the lead from Labrator in second. Barley Notes is third. And Rapunzel as they get over the second of the 12. With Agnetta's Eagle a little bit uncomfortable at the back and didn't jump it all that well. Untidy, should I say, rather than uncomfortable. The jockey may want to look for a little bit uncomfortable the way she landed. But they get over the third and it was Rapunzel's turn to give it a rattle that time. And Glamis is the leader from Labrator in second. And Cottage Wine is third. Barley Notes is fourth. And Cab on target, Rapunzel. Casa Grande Smile and Demiris Giza. They're pretty closely grouped up. Nothing's gone on into a real commanding lead in this one. No real front runners. John Morgan's cab on target. Obviously, a pack horse in this race. And it's Glamist who's got the lead from Labrator in second. And Cottage Wine and Barley Notes. Bookshot is wide on the track. With Rapunzel down on this near rail. And cab on target. Bookshot. Olive Oil is just. Making a forward move as well. The two Vinnie Gerard horses in the two shades of green are pretty much together. Hot Springs Unknown and Casa Grande smiles and Orange Cassidy have just about been relegated really to last. The two Graham Clutterbuck horses also towards the rear. Demiris Giza and Agnetta's Eagle. And it's Glamist who's got the lead. Look, two to three clear. From Labrata, Barley Notes, Rapunzel and Cottage Wine virtually in a line as they get over the fifth. More safely over the fifth. You can see the main body of the group separated by about four to five lengths. Glamis, though, is about four lengths clear of the rest of them. And the orange sleeves for Alex Cherry, clear by four to Barley Notes in second. As they come up past the stand. Flight number six shortly, which I'm pretty sure will be the last next time around. I think there's only one in the straight this time. We'll safely over that one. I'll get these tracks mixed up sometime. I'm going to swing out left handed now because on this track the winning post is right up there up that chute. So there's a much longer run in than there is on the other hurdles course. And it's Glamist who's got the lead. Leading by four or five to Labrata in second. Then Rapunzel third, Barley Notes four, Olive Oil five. Then Agnetta's Eagles made a good forward move. Cab on target and Casa Grande smiles with Hot Springs unknown after that. Then Cottage Wine has just dropped back a bit. Bookshot and Demiris Giza the Grey are next. And Orange Cassidy is just the back marker as they all skip over flight number seven. Still going well within themselves, it would seem, at this point. Glamis leading from Labrata in second. Barley notes his third cottage wine has now moved back up again into fourth. Then Rapunzel on the inside as they take flight nine. Which again, they all got over okay. Three to get over now, but it's still got a little over a mile to run. And only three more flights of hurdles to take. It's Glamist who's in the lead, but in the lead all the way. Labrator is second, Cottage Wine is third. Barley Notes is in fourth, and then Rapunzel is in fifth. With Orange Cassidy and Demiris Giza getting closer now as they take the third from home. Flight number 10, mistake at the back by Agnetta's Eagle. He's got some work to do, so to the Vinnie Gerard pair, Hot Springs Unknown and Casa Grande smiles. Cap on target, the top mate's also lost his place. They're racing downhill now with six furlongs to go and just two flights to take 
and Glamis continues to lead. Cottage Wine is though moving into second. The Bracer is third. Orange Cassidy is next. Olive Oil making a good move around the outside. Then Barley Notes. Rapunzel now starting to make a forward move. The Mary's Geezer and Bookshot likewise. The back four have got work to do. But it's Glamis who's in the lead from Cottage Wine. Rapunzel coming up on the outside of that one. The Bracer now under a bit of pressure. Olive Oil is next. Then comes Orange Cassidy as they take the 11th. And then all safe from there with that, just one more fence, to, one more flight to take them there. And four furlongs to go, and Glamis is in the lead. But here comes Bookshot, who's come out of the pack into second. Labrator's got a second wind into third. Cottage Wine is next, then Rapunzel and Orange Cassidy. Demeris Giza is starting to run on. Three furlongs to go, and it's Glamis trying to hold on. Bookshot is in second. These two are clear of the rest of them as they race down towards the final two and a half furlongs. And the final flight in the per attempt final, and it's Glamis and Bookshot. Glamis holding on by about half a length, Labrisa and Cottage Wine getting closer, then Rapunzel and Demary's Giza, they're now approaching the final flight, and Glamis is still in the lead, Glamis gets over it in front, here comes Labrisa in second, then third is Bookshot, then Cottage Wine, Rapunzel starting to run on, then Demary's Giza, but Glamis it is at the moment, Glamis is still in front, they've got just more than half a furlong to go, and Glamis from Labrisa, then Cottage Wine and Rapunzel, but it's going to be Glamis who's going to make it a pillar to post, winning the per tips. it's Glamis who takes it from Labrisa, second Cottage Wine, Rapunzel, Rapunzel to Mary's Geezer and then Bookshot and Alex Cherry who by all accounts is having a pretty rotten season he's probably the only person in the league having a worse season than me and finally something comes good for him as he wins the per attempts with Glamist off bottom weight I think as well probably from outside the handicap but Glamist takes it for Alex Cherry Second was Labrator for Darren Thompson. He was there or thereabouts in every race, isn't he? Cottage Wine, Craig Beckwith was third. Rapunzel for Martin Lillian was fourth. And Demary's Giza for Graham Clutterbuck was back in fifth.